Good afternoon, Marco. It's a pleasure to meet you here in Bucharest. Thank you for the invitation. It's my pleasure also. You started your career as an IT trainee and then 36 years ago you founded a small company as an entrepreneur which you call Stefanini and now you lead an IT giant. Please um, tell us how did St the Stefanini vision change over time if it has? I can divide in two main groups. One that we always keep the same uh, principles and others that what we change during the time. First of all, uh, we keep always our B2B visions, that's always. We always uh, are a very customer-centric company, okay? And always we are very resilient and also um, flexible to adapt during the, a lot of crises that we pass through during the life. This is what we keep our, we can say, our DNA. Okay. The other is that for me also it's my personal behavior or my a lot of personal experience because when we begin a business, uh, you are an entrepreneur, usually are a sales guy, okay? But for me it's, a, it's like different because when I began the company, I never been um, a manager. I have to learn how to be a manager first to manage maybe 10 or 12 or 20 people. Then when the company began to, to grow, of course I have to adapt myself to be more a manager or more an executive. And also keeping some DNA about entrepreneur, flexibility, agility, informal, lean organization, Stefanini's journey is strongly related to technology, so how do you explore at the moment emerging technologies? I think first of all, the leadership has to engage not only participating in any big movement. For example, in AI, the last big movement in, or trend in technology, I personally very engaged and push all the, the team to build a lot of applications using AI in all, all of our offers. I think this is the right way how to be successful when we have new technologies. For us, maybe from all these movements, AI is a little bit different because the other movements we have to adapt ourselves to this new technology because everything changed. This time is different because we are working with AI in the last 12 years. Then we have a strong capabilities in building applications, building solutions using AI. Our solution could be also much more powerful and satisfy our, our clients. I would like to go back to this entrepreneurial uh, mindset and obviously we know that Stephanie has seen as impressive growth over time. What advice would you give um, a young tech founder looking to scale their big idea? I think that uh, uh, my main message is to be an entrepreneur, you have a hard life. We need to be very resilient and also flexible to change our tactic during the time. Because we know that we have during the time we understand that some offers or some solutions not work as expected and we have to be fast and humble enough to change. The third one is we, we need to be humble to listen to people. You have to listen to everybody. You mentioned Marco being humble. Are there any mentors or experiences that shaped or influenced your journey? Yes, there are many. Uh, first of all, uh, I love to read biography. I read a lot of them. One, is, one of them is Sam Walton, that's uh, the owner, the founder of uh, Walmart, yes. But I read many others, great leaders and very different leaders. But also, as I said, I can learn every day with all the people. Hello Farley and thank you for joining me today. 
He joined Stefanini in 2009 after already launching three successful IT startups. Currently, you're leading the uh, Stefanini business in EMEA, a very diverse region, which is what I would like to talk about today. Well, that's, uh, there is no recipe uh, for uh, anything like that. Uh, you need to, to use the strengths that you have in the organization. EMEA is part of a group, so we have uh, the, the power in the organization uh, in other regions as well. So I don't need to build something, everything, all the time from scratch. Sometimes we learn from the other regions. Sometimes we had, uh, when I took over the position, we had already some capabilities, but indeed EMEA has a, a different scenario. We have different countries with different type of, uh, let's call like the uh, styles, because the, the, the countries are different indeed. And to adapt the technology is not about just Stefanini. We have a vision, etc. But Stefanini is a, a company very focused on the customer. So who is driving the direction that I'm choosing in my strategy for the EMEA region, indeed are our customers or the market. We, we look at them and we talk to them, we are delivering service for them, we listen to them, and then we, we see what they are missing or what we are missing to deliver something better for them. We know we are in this uh, war for talent and obviously in the EMEA region things are not very different. Uh, how do you attract, but most importantly, how do you retain the best talent in the region? Well, for me, I have a very clear strategy for the EMEA region uh, because of, it's a very mature region. The customers, they are really well prepared as well. Uh, they are really demanding. So here in EMEA, you don't have a chance if you don't have quality and if you don't have really a strong process end-to-end. -end. How I can attract talents? If I'm delivering good level of services, I will be able to attract good level of customers and good level of projects. And this is everything that a talent is looking for. We would like to provide an outstanding service and this outstanding service is going to be recognized from the customers and the market and the people are going to know about that and then they are going to be willing to come to Stephanie or to stay with us longer.